Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my experience selling recently to Fashion File. So if that is something that is of interest in you, I hope that you'll stick around and keep watching. Just recently, I decided to sell one of my beloved Louis Vuitton handbags to Fashion File. And the handbag that I'm talking about is the Louis Vuitton Ina in the PM size. And I decided to sell this bag because unfortunately, when I decided to take this bag out a couple weeks ago, I noticed that there were two spots on the canvas that started peeling. And I was so disappointed when I saw this. And I'll be sure to insert some pics, some pictures of the peeling that was taking place on my Ina. So once I saw the peeling happening in two spots on the monogrammed canvas, I kind of was like, well, geez, what do I do with this bag now? Um, I've had that bag for almost five years. So at this point, um, I, did, I wasn't sure what to do with it, but because I was so disappointed in just the canvas peeling that way, I started thinking to myself, well, maybe it might be best for me to go ahead and part ways with this bag. So I looked into Fashion File. I have never sold anything to Fashion File, and I've also never purchased anything from Fashion File before either. So this was a brand new experience for me. So I decided to go ahead and submit the pics, some pictures to Fashion File, which is the first step if you're looking into selling to Fashion File. The very first thing you need to do, as I stated, is you need to turn in some pictures of the item and you also need to provide a detailed description of the condition of the item. So when I took pictures of my Louis Vuitton Ina PM, I made sure to take very good pictures in natural lighting and made sure to do this on a nice sunny day too so that the pictures were gonna be very accurate. And I also made sure to take pictures of the two spots on the monogram canvas that were peeling. And in addition to the pictures, I made sure to be very detailed as possible in my description as well to Fashion File. Once I submitted my pictures and description to Fashion File, it took about three days for them to send me a buyout offer. So about three days later, I logged back into the Fashion File account and I was then able to see the buyout offer that they were going to give me for this bag. And I ultimately decided to go ahead and accept the offer, which is the second step to selling to Fashion File. Once they send you a buyout offer, after looking at the pictures and description, uh, you, they're gonna send you a buyout offer and you either have to accept or decline. In my case, I went ahead and chose to accept the buyout offer. And once you accept the buyout offer, you then have to choose how you want to ship the item in which there's three different ways that you can ship the item. You can, one, drop it off at your local Neiman Marcus if there's one in your area. Two, you can drop it off at UPS or set up a day for UPS to come to your home or business location to pick up the item. Or three, you can also ship it via FedEx. So those are your three shipping options. Okay, moving along to the next step, step three, once you accept the buyout offer, if you choose to accept, you are then going to print out the ship list and the shipping label that Fashion File is going to send you. And that, that's going to lead into step four, which is now you have to package up the item. And when you package up the item, be sure to include the ship list inside of the box and also be sure to attach that shipping label that Fashion File will provide you to the outside of the box. And then also I do wanna to mention too that when you are packaging the item up, 
you know, of course, make sure you package the item up nice and neat, but also be sure to include any knickknacks that come with that item that you said, that she said in the description that you will provide. So in my case, with the Louis Vuitton Ina PM, I said in the description that with that bag, I was going to include the lock that comes with the bag, the two keys that come with the bag, as well as the dust bag that the keys come in, and the actual dust bag for the bag itself. So when I made sh when I was packaging up the item, I made sure to include all of those different components inside of the box. And don't forget to put that ship list inside of the box as well. Once you've packaged up your item, you are then going to drop off the item. And again, this is gonna go back to step two. When you accept the item, that's where you choose how you are going to ship it. So the drop off, however you choose to drop it off, whether it's UPS, FedEx, or going to your local Neiman Marcus and dropping it off there, okay? Once you drop off the item, you will be able to track it using the tracking number that they provide you. So in my case, I have the UPS tracking number. And then that's going to go into step six, which is when Fashion File finally receives your item. So once Fashion File receives your item, they are then going to inspect the item and make sure that the item came with all of the different components that you said that you were going to provide with that item. And then, of course, they're also going to authenticate the item as well to be sure that it is, in fact, an authentic, in my case, an authentic Louis Vuitton bag. I think that's why it's so important, too, that when you submit pictures to Fashion File that also make sure the pictures are accurate and make sure your description is as accurate as possible because there is a disclaimer that if Fashion File receives your item and then they inspect it and see that it doesn't come with all of the different things that you said that you were going to include or let's say that you know the bag is more damaged then what you originally said in your description, or worst case, I guess if the item is not authentic, Fashion File will, will then lower the buyout offer that they originally sent you. So just be sure that step one is very important that you take really good pictures and just be try to be very detailed in your description of the condition of the item. And then the last and final step, after Fashion File receives the item and then they inspect it and determine uh, the authentic, authentic, authentication, excuse me, of the item, they are then going to send you another email saying that they haven't authenticated the item. And if your item proves to be authentic and is consistent with the pictures that you provided as well as the description that you provided, your payment will then be initiated. And in my case, I chose to have my payment sent to me via direct deposit, but Fashion File also has other payment options where they can send you your money via PayPal or mail out a check to you. And they have a couple of other options as well to choose from. And again, I do wanna to emphasize too that as far as the payment option, be sure it is going to be whatever you chose during step two. So during step two, if you choose to accept the I accept the buyout offer, that is where you are going to choose which payment option you feel most comfortable with. Okay, overall, from the moment I went ahead and decided to ship out the item up until the point when the item was received and Fashion File authenticated the item and then sent out the payment to me. The overall process took about five business days. So in my opinion, I thought that was fairly quick and I thought it was a fairly easy and seamless process. So in the end, would I recommend selling to Fashion File to anyone who's interested in possibly 
you know, selling a luxury handbag or a luxury small leather good to Fashion File, yes, I would recommend. I would definitely recommend using Fashion File too if you don't really want to be bothered with the whole buyer and seller and, you know, platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. Um, I have sold on platforms like those in the past and my experience has been great using those platforms. But in this case, I really didn't want to have to go through the whole anxiety and stress of having to package up the item and make sure it's nice and neat and sending it off and then, you know, waiting for the, the buyer to receive the item and crossing my fingers that they approve the item. I didn't really want to go through that stress this time, which was why I chose to sell to Fashion File this time around. So if you're trying to avoid the whole buying and selling, buyer and seller relationship and the trust and the anxiety, or at least anxiety for me that comes along with that, then I think that selling to Fashion File is a great option. Alrighty guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope that this video is helpful to anyone who's been considering selling their luxury handbag or SLG item to Fashion File. Again, I would highly recommend using this service if you're looking to you know, make some money off of an old item that you're not really getting any use out of or that is no longer serving you. If you have any questions about my experience selling to Fashion File, please let me know in the comment section down below. And thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video and spend some of your time with me today. If you thought that this video was helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, take care. Bye.